Hi guys, Tom Wilson here. Um, this is going to be another Hobby Tips video. Um, and in this video we're just going to talk about tools and glue and stuff. Um, so we'll start off with glue. Uh, the plastic glue I use for putting models together is Revel. Uh, now I get this one because in my opinion it's the best and you have this needle point applicator which GW now do um, but to be honest I've been I've been using this one for so long that I don't see the point in changing so I've got that one super glue uh, I go with Poundland <laughs> you get about 8 to 10 of these in a pack uh, for a pound they tend to clog up um, very easily, uh, but that doesn't matter because you've got another seven, and it only costs you a pound. So, pound and super glue. Um, also, just uh, for basin and things like that, uh, this is some wood well, woodworking ad adhesive. So it's basically um, PVA. Uh, this is from Poundland and just know what I mean. <laughs> it, it lasts forever. <laughs> and it only costs a pound. So there you go. Poundland wood glue. Um now we'll just move on. I've left some of my tools out. Um right. We'll get to this one later, it's sort of a odd one. So, hobby knife. Doesn't have to be Games Workshop. You can get these ones. Uh, I got about 20 of these. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, 12 of these from um, Class Olsen. Um, I've still got loads. Um, what I will say is that that is better for sort of cutting down little bits, fine detail and things. These are good. They've got the place. Um, that was about four quid. Class Olsen. So that was good. Tweezers. Um, these were also from Poundland. It was in a set of uh, four, which I only have two left. I have these really fine ones and this big one. And I only really use these ones. Yeah, I just use these for all the little fine detail, um, holding little bits in because. I've got big shovel ends to be honest, it <laughs> can be quite difficult for me, so I have them. Um, now we get on to, no actually I am, cut here and I'll get the other bits. Right, sorry about that guys, um, again, clippers, doesn't have to be GW, um, you can get other clippers from hobby shops, uh, like Model Zone, places like that, they do them, um, but yeah, clippers are great, it's just so easy just to clip in there, um, good, not so good when you're trying to keep both parts of something, that's where you want to use your hobby knife, or uh, quite often, this is my honest, honest to god, um, Never had one of these until my wife bought me one, the razor saw. Um, I I could not be without a razor saw now. <laughs> razor saws are excellent. And also, pin vice. Pin vice, uh, obviously for pinning, um, but also adding detail, um, drill out, uh, your bolter barrels, um, 
if scenery and drill in like bullet holes and then go in and sort of mess them up a bit with the knife that looks good um, also uh, I've seen Nagel players uh, well Nagel modelers not so much players um, using it for putting in holes in the armour and messing that up and whatever so there you go now we get up to uh, what I use when green stuffing so, you've got colour shapers, I've got a big one and a little one. Um, these are just, they're just like paintbrushes, but they've got a silicon tip. And the good thing about that is that green stuff does not stick to it. Uh, it's great for going in on the green stuff and just getting rid of your fingerprints and stuff like that. Um, it's also good for just sort of, you can smooth it out over the model. Um, we'll get a model just... Smooth that out over the model. I know there's no green stuff. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, there will be in the next video. Um, also, just sort of like uh, plucking a thing. Just when you're doing capes, just for pulling it away from the model, so you're not putting your finger in there. Colour shapers. Also, you've got sort of th this. Is quite good for doing green stuff. Um, in that you just poke like if you're gonna green stuff say you're gonna green stuff between there and you just poke it in and you come back with your colour shaper uh, and you just smooth it in you know, crossover of tools there you don't have to get GW again um, I went online and got like a set of 10 or so of these wax shape and things and you don't just get these one you get um i got a ton of them um the problem is they've all sort of they've gone missing i've lent them out uh things like that uh these ones are good um these ones pretty much exactly the same so i'll just show you one of them um they're just points so they're good for doing fair, you just pluck at it and whatever. Um, yeah, you know, I've ruined the tube. Anyway, so yeah, so that's that. Um, and again, this one, uh, I did wonder about just putting this in a video on its own because it's that good uh, when green stuffing. So you've got your colour shapers, and if you remember I told you they've got a silicon tip. Now all this is, is a piece of silicon. It's actually for, um, you know like tight jars and things, like uh, the jam you can't open. You grab it and it, it gives you something to grab and twist it with. Um, so obviously you've got that sort of textured side. I just wanted this flat side, so this was from Poundland again, and it's just a surface to do green stuffing on, uh, also when you do capes just put them out, uh, put the green stuff out, um, flatten it down with the colour shapers again, um, yeah, Poundland, excellent, and then you've got your, sort of your petroleum jelly. Um, just for keeping <laughs> keep your keep your tools lubed, as people have said in the past, um, for when green stuffing. So yeah, sorry about this one. It was a bit dry, uh, and I've not really got a demonstration for you. But in the next video, I'll be putting a cape on this guy. Uh, He's been waiting around for a cape for a while, so this is for family of gamers, uh, 77 for the coach. Uh, he asked me how I do capes, and the problem was is I had this video to do uh, where I wanted to run through the tools I use for green stuff, and, and I've thrown in tools as well. Um, so yeah, just so you know, it's on the way, mate. It's on the way. Um, 
I'll actually probably start doing it after this video. Um, but it takes like a day to to get it finished properly. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, don't forget you've got a month to enter into the competition. Uh, I'll put a link up here around now. Yeah. Um, also, uh, anyone who wants to put a video response up showing uh, what tools you use um, for the hobby, uh, do it. Do it. I'll have a look. Um, everyone else can have a look too. So, have a good day guys. See you in the next one.